a beautiful and enduring symbol of a bygone travel era. The steamship Coatan has now come to Kingston. Built in 1907 on the River Clyde in Govan, Scotland, she served loyally on the Great Lakes for many years. Commencing service in October 1908, she originally carried passengers for the Canadian Pacific Railway's Great Lakes steamship line between Owen Sound and Thunder Bay at the port of Fort William, Port Arthur. Her journey to the Upper Great Lakes was made all the more interesting because in Lévis, Quebec, she had to be cut in half to transit the canals that linked the Great Lakes. Her two halves were made whole again in Buffalo, New York, on Lake Erie. In 1912, with the completion of a new super terminal at Port McNichol in Ontario, the Kewatin moved to that port and would serve there until 1965 when the completion of the Trans-Canada Highway made steamship travel obsolescent. Coming from the Edwardian era of luxury travel, the graceful lines of her exterior hint at the beautiful dark wood finish of her cabins and interior, which the nearly 300 passengers enjoyed. Her four Scotch boilers, driving a single screw, moved her along at about 16 knots, and the journey from Port McNichol to Thunder Bay took about two and a half days. Most of her time in retirement was spent on the Kalamazoo River in Michigan, but in 2012 she returned to Port McNichol. Plans to keep her there were not fulfilled, and this year she has moved to Kingston where she's likely to remain. Happily, all of her owners have been kind to her over the years, and she will make a great place to visit at the Great Lakes Museum in Kingston next spring 2024.